Hello, and welcome to my crafting corner hutch thing. Yes. Um, what am I saying? I supposed to say? I don't remember. And so what am I gonna say? It's currently a gloomy day outside. And I have my little umbrella light thing I haven't used in like 10 years up. This is my setup. Light, phone, executive producer, miso. Okay. This hutch has been here since we moved in. The previous landlords left it for us. Um, me and Steven were thinking about um, getting rid of it, but since I started getting into like crochet and um, got my cricket and stuff, um, we decided this is a perfect place to store them because all of our junk mail was just going in there. I'm gonna show you real quick what it looks like inside. This is where I store all my yarn, all my Cricut vinyl, my yarn winder, embroidery, fabric, cotton, clay, my little picture frames. It's really messy, but I'm too lazy to clean it. Anything that has to do with crafts is in here. However, the craft I will be doing today is not in here. It's actually... Wait, don't look, don't look. It's actually right here. Wow. Okay. Boom. Mailman's here. Miso, they're gone. I don't remember what I was gonna say. Today, I will be making my first sewing project. I've never sewn anything before. I, I practiced a little bit, uh, like last week. That shit's scary, but I think I understand the basics of just turning it on and just throwing the fabric in there. So this could either be uh, an okay looking project at the end of this, or it's just gonna be a complete fail. I will be making a baby doll dress. Um, I've watched two YouTube tutorials um, and I think I understand how to do it. First thing though, let's go to the store real quick and grab a little bit more material that I don't have. I need some sewing supplies, so we're at Joanne's. I have my chauffeur here too. Yep, chauffeur. <laughs> Can my shoes be any louder? <laughs> Just what you said you needed? Yeah. Um, there's this one, there's also this one. Okay, do we go for the orange one or this cute pink one? Look at this pattern though, too. Look, at look like a marble effect. Yeah. I like these. You like those ones? I'll get these ones. Yeah. Okay, this one. Then. I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't know they had like patterns like this here. Look how cute this is. That's cool. Secure the goods. Sorry. <laughs> I, saw, I thought you were handing it to me. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> now that I got what I need, let's get set up. In both of the videos I watched, they said to 
It'd be helpful to find a dress that you already have. So I have this one. It's from Target, if anybody is wondering. The shirt I'll be using, this one says, caring for your demon cat. I probably won't be able to keep this entire gra um, graphic, but that's fine. This is my fabric I'll be using. I got this at Joann's like a long time ago. This is not a tutorial, by the way. Okay, this is just my process. The video says to measure out the waist, or the length and then the width of the dress. They also say it gives room for seam allowance, so what, one and a half inches? I'm just gonna go for like a 20. This way is like a 36. I'm gonna add two more inches, so 38-ish. Okay, let me actually write this down now. And then for this top part, 16, so what, I have to do 16-ish shirt. 16-ish or 17. Because if I'm just cutting this, do I still need a seam allowance for this? I'm already stressed out. <sighs> now to do that one more time. Nothing like a smile in the morning. Ooh. Following the linings on your cheek. My cuts were super uneven, but whatever. I'm just gonna pin the sides of the thing. They're red, look how cute. Here goes nothing. So I have the right sides together and I'm gonna start sewing the sides together. Oh, I'm scared, I'm so nervous. <sighs> Oh my gosh, my thread fell off. How long have I been going like that? The beginning. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was so nervous and I wasn't even, I wasn't even um, sewing anything. Let's try this again. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Why does this thread keep breaking? This is what it looks like. My stitching, can you see it? My yarn or my thread kept breaking, so that's why this looks like this up here, but I don't know why it kept breaking. But honestly, I don't think it looks that bad. Let's start on the other side. The executive producer have fa has fallen asleep on the job. If you hear laughing in the background, Steve is playing Overwatch. Got done with the second side. I think this one came out a lot better than the other one. I believe we have to do something called basting stitch. I think it's like two, two stitches, one on top of another. I don't know how far apart, but <laughs> one on top of another, and then you pull one of the, the you leave a long like thread at the end, and then um, you pull one so it can create the little elastic scrunchy look. Oh my gosh! But this is the second time. It looks a lot better, don't you think? Yeah, it looks really good, baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crush me, I love this pattern too. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know if basting stitch is the correct stitch, but either way, now I'm working on gathering the fabric. <laughs> So, I don't know if you can see these knots right here, but I'm supposed to undo it, undo them, and let me pull. See, it's supposed to be gathering fabric. Um, these are what the ruffles or the scrunchy ruffle things in the inside are looking like. And now I'm just gonna attach it to the shirt and sew them together. I think I pinned it as much as, as well as I can. So I, I guess we just go for it. Miso's freaking out because probably sees a person walking by the house. How's it going? It's okay. 
scary? Yeah. Or are you feeling a lot more confident now? Nope, still scary. Nope, still scary. <laughs> Whoa. What are you making? A dress. Nice, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Love you, baby. Love you. This is what it looks like. I'd be messing up a lot, but a piece of fabric is falling off. Let me redo. Oh my god. Okay, not perfect, but cute though. I'm gonna try her on real quick. Okay, this is what she looks like so far. I think it looks super cute. I don't have an ironing board or like a mat. A towel is going to have to work. I also don't know what the proper hem length is, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna guess that one too. I'm not a pro yet, so I'm just gonna use um, like the smallest stitch and then go from there. Oh, shit! <laughs> I've decided to do ruffles on the sleeves. Um, since I have a lot of extra fabric, so I'm just guessing. So let's see how this goes. Okay, this is the final product. Huh? Huh? It turned out a lot better than I expected to. I would give it like a seven and a half out of ten, maybe. Um, a couple things I would like to change about it are the the sleeves, I think I made them a little too short. I think I would have liked them a little, the ruffles a little longer. I mean, I think that's the only thing I would really change about it. Everything else I think I did really good. Um, maybe next time I do this project, I add pockets. Here's more of a close up. And I don't think I did bad with the hemming on the bottom either. <laughs> don't jump on me, that's rude. <sighs> That was, that was a lot. That project took me all day. I think I started at like 12, and then now it's like almost seven o'clock. Was it difficult? Very difficult. <laughs> what would you rate my dress out of 10? Out of 10? 12, of course. A 12? Yeah. No, realistically, I'd say <laughs> an 8.5. Okay. Yeah, I think like you said earlier, like the this ruffles right here, they could be like a tad longer. You pockets. could add pockets to it, yeah. <laughs> But this is a really good first attempt. Like, look at that thing. Like, you freaking crushed it, babe. Thanks. So, how did you rate the experience? Experience was okay. Ten being the worst experience, and like one being like no, nothing. Yeah. I would say like a nine point five. Wait, ten being the worst? Yeah. Wait, so it was really bad. I you mean, didn't enjoy it I or? mean, it was fun, but it was mostly just me trying to figure out the sewing machine. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, I get that. Like having to learn, probably yeah. getting frustrated at yeah. the time, so. Good job. Thanks. Mwah. If you guys enjoyed today's video, let me know what would you like to see next. It could be sewing, it could be gaming, it could be any other crafts, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.